Man, guys, look at this picture of a cheeseburger I found. Yeah, I mean, I really didn't have any, uh, content planned for this week, despite it being spring break and me having a bunch of time for, uh, making content. So here's this picture of a cheeseburger. It's a pretty good looking cheeseburger too, I mean. Has buns, mustard, ketchup, pickles, cheese, beef, onions, more bread. It looks like a pretty good cheeseburger to me. Wonder if it's homemade. Well, it looks a lot like a McDonald's cheeseburger to me. Why is that the top bun so shiny anyway? It's like I could see my own reflection in that thing. Huh. Maybe they glossed over it with like some type of window cleaner or something when they were making the cheeseburger. If they made the cheeseburger using window cleaner though, then what else do they have on the cheeseburger? Let's think about it. If the top bun is used window cleaner, is the mustard and ketchup made out of plastic? Huh. If there's anything on this hamburger that's going to be made out of plastic, it's going to be the cheese. Let me tell you, that cheese does not look real. Unless it is. In that case, I'm just a big dum-dum. You know what's not real, though? Those onions. Man, those onions, who chopped those onions? I want to know. Whenever I'm eating a hamburger at home, I just get the big circle onion, shove it on the cheeseburger, call it a day, but... Man, whatever they did, useless. They didn't have to do that. They could have just put an onion in there and chomped it up. Put in the comments down below if you like onions on your cheeseburger, too. Because I sure know I do. Man, onions... Am I right? Man. I wonder what life is like on the farm where the ingredients were produced for this cheeseburger. Do they use wheat to make che bread? I think they... Yeah, because Minecraft, you need three pieces of wheat to make bread. But Minecraft doesn't technically translate to real... Hold on, let me Google it. Okay, let's Google it very quick. Do you need wheat to make bread? There are, do you need wheat to make bread? Does bread need wheat? It usually has wheat because wheat contains gluten, which is the important protein that holds the bread together. Oh, interesting. All right, so you do need wheat to make bread. Well, I mean, that should have been evident, saying that, um, wheat is made, but yeah, not, whatever, I digress. Man, pickles, am I right? Who likes pickles? Like, who just reaches their hand into a canister of pickles, takes a big chomp out of one? Who does that? No one? Somebody does? However, they're other weirdos because straight up pickles are disgusting. Typically try to eat them with like something, you know? Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, I wonder where the beef came from on the hamburger. Well, obviously it came from a cow. I'm not that stupid. Huh. I wonder how the cow was raised. Well, who knows? Saying that they were making it turn it into beef. It probably was fed pretty well. Gave it a lot of grass, you know, took good care of it. And then it was slaughtered, turned into beef. Pretty simple explanation, I think. Or who knows? Maybe one of the cows went insane and started slaughtering the other cows for no reason. And the farmers just had a lot of extra beef left lying around. 
No, shoot. Let's be even more imaginative. Let's say that the cows went to, somehow came upon multiple machine guns and waged war against the farmer, took him out, and then took control of the farm. And then the U.S. military had to get involved for some reason because cows were expanding and stirring their own social networks. So then they had to drop a nuke. But then the nuke turned one of the cows into Cowzilla, who became the king of the cows. And then America became a country ran solely out by cows. What the heck did I just talk about? What were we talking about again? Cheeseburgers, right? Yeah, cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers are good. My favorite place to get a cheeseburger is Culver's. Man, the cheese is so melty on them. It's good. Good cheeseburgers from Culver's. McDonald's cheeseburgers, eh. There's nothing to write home about. They're fine, I guess. Let me think. Burger King. A lot of people don't like Burger King. However, I really like it. It's good food. The french fries aren't too bad. And the burger's pretty good. I'd gladly choose Burger King over McDonald's any day. Especially because the lines are short because nobody goes there. <laughs> but hey, I like Burger King. Burger King's good. You ever try any of... uh? Burger King's chicken nuggets? And yes, I know. Oh, and I'm not talking about the chicken fries. I'm talking about the, the chicken nuggets. Yeah, their chicken nuggets are pretty good. Probably made out of concrete and sequin, but hey. If they can make concrete and sequin taste good, I'll eat it. You know what the best cheeseburgers are, though? The homemade cheeseburgers you make on your own home barbecue. Man, those are good. And you can have as many hamburgers as you want too. Like when I I when you go to like a restaurant or something, they usually give you like one hamburger, side of fries. But when you're like making backdoor cheeseburgers, serve yourself two cheeseburgers, huge wad of potato chips, man, it's good. Good times. Good times indeed. You know what's crazy? Did you know that five, six, six years ago, what the heck? Six years ago was 2018. That is highly disturbing to me. 2018 was uh, one of the best years of my life, I remember. Went up to visit my grandparents saw their beach house for the first time and that's also the year Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom came out I remember I was hyped for that so hyped for that when I was younger so hyped and I remember when the toys came boy that was good times still have one of my oh who am I kidding I still have them all just keep them in boxes or lying around my room somewhere haven't opened the boxes in a couple months. Should probably do that to see how they're doing so they don't get dusty. A lot of resale value. Probably going to sell them when I'm older and get ridiculously witch. Man, what's it like to have a job? I heard my parents talk about it. Stuff. What's it really like? Huh. I mean, times change. People change. No, we're in like a different time period. People are more titled than they were back in 1950s or whatever. Strange, strange times, am I right? Strange times. Man, I wish I lived... If, if I were to live in any other time period right now be the 1950s good time to be alive sure there were problems back then too such as cold war stuff 
course, a fear of a nuke dropping on uh, your head. It's a big fear. But I just hear my grandpa tell me stories of all these uh, farm tales or whatever. Life was different for different people in the 1950s. So, if, you know, if I were to go back in time again, you know, how far back in time can the human mind co- comprehend? Scientists like to sit there and bullcrap and pretend they know what they're talking about. But do we really know how old the Earth is? Answer is no. Could have been made 2,000 years ago. Do we know? Probably because probably have some recorded history from 2,000 years ago. But how do we know that history was from 2,000 years ago? Did someone write it down on paper that said this history was from 2,000 years ago? Or did the scientist guy pick it up and say, I'm going to use this old unreliable system and try to comprehend the age of this rock using it, and then go ahead and do it and say, oh, wow, it seems to be a billion years old, despite being in perfect condition. Time to shell it for a college's education worth. (laughs) Or, yeah, it's probably exactly what happens. Now, how old is the Earth, really? Because according to the Christian Bible, um, I think they said it was like, some Bibleologists or whatever comprehended that by collecting data from the Bible, they collect, they like comprehended that it was like 4,000 years old or something. When science says that it's like a couple billion years old or something crazy, but honestly, do we really know? Because according to Christianity, God didn't say how old the earth really, or maybe he did, and I'm just rusty on my Christian knowledge, or and then according to science, earth's a billion years old, but then again, that's just a theory. <laughs> a g- game theory. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Matt Pat's, uh, Retiring. Ah, good for him. Happy for him. He's been doing it for 13 years. People are like, oh, I'm so sad he's leaving. Oh, no, it's a good thing. Happy for him. He gets to spend time with his child. And then we get new energy into the theory channel as well. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be inter- interesting times. And I wonder what's going to happen when people like Markiplier quit. Because Markiplier has been doing it for like, he probably is going to quit soon. Man, not going to lie, that's kind of crazy. I'd say he has another like three years left in him. Then he's going to be like, you know what, I want to become a full-time movie producer. And he's going to go ahead and, he would he'd be a good actor, that's what he would be. Good actor. Who knows, maybe some go... And if he became an actor, too, he'd get a lot of, like, you know, clout and support and stuff. Because he's already had this big YouTube channel that he has, oh, you know, conveniently has 46 million subscribers on. (laughs) Oh, boy. Can't believe there are people out there that just kind of, you know... Block out the realities of life with different media sources like Five Nights at Freddy's, um, Undertale, uh, even their own like OC, oh god I hate the phrase OC, um, quote unquote OCs or fictional characters that they make up, they create to block out the realities of life but no no life exists it's a cycle cycle that's been going on for god knows how long um yeah it's crazy anyways what were we talking about yeah we're talking about cheeseburgers yeah cheeseburgers are pretty good 
not the best. In fact, I think hot dogs are better.